Hello everyone, and we got some crypto news for you tonight. First of all, BNB developers are going to sunset the Beacon Chain tokens. No, that does not mean that BNB tokens are going away. Rather, it's going to be a fusion. They're going to fuse BEP2 and BEP20, and it's scheduled for April. What does that mean? It means they're going to fuse and their power level is going to go up multiple times. That's exactly what it means. So developers of Binance and Smart Chain want to merge the dual BNB Beacon Chain, BEP2, and BNB Smart Chain, BEP20, chain structures into a single blockchain. They strongly recommend to transfer their BEP2 and BEP8 to the BEP20 chain. So that's what you actually need to do. So essentially, like if you have any BEP2 or BEP8 tokens, um, you need to transfer them to BEP20 because that's the main thing they're going to go with. And they will preserve assets to a one-to-one -one ratio. It's going to integrate the best features of all the chains together. And its power level, just like when Goku and Vegeta fuse, is going to go up multiple times. It's going to be done via centralized and decentralized exchanges or through the BNB chain wallet and other self-custody wallets. You must bridge your assets by the deadline, even, but if you don't, you can still do there after using a legacy feature, but you will actually need to wait up to seven days to recover their BEP2 assets post-fusion. So the thing is, if you don't do it then, and there's a bull run within the seven days, you could be really screwed. So in this year, when coins might be running a lot, it is, set, is definitely something you want to do before April. And a quote, fair to establish cross-chain functionality for these tokens before the BNB beacon chain is deactivated will lead to their irreversible loss with no chance of recovery. Actively participating in this process is vital to the protection of your assets. Remember, you don't have six months. You don't have a year to do this. You got about three months before this happens. If you are an active investor in BEP2 and you have a lot of tokens, please do so. I don't own any of these tokens, so I personally do not care. But for those of you that are invested, it is good to know. There are a lot of BNB assets out there. And if you don't do this, you will be losing big. Of course, BEP2 is currently used to power gas fees to the ecosystem uh, transactions, while BEP20 tokens possess smart contract functionality similar to ERC20 tokens. And that's one of the reasons they're going to migrate. They want everything to have smart contract uh, functionality. We know that Binance as a centralized exchange is losing market share. So they're probably trying to consolidate their decentralized assets. And the blockchain is quickly evolving and they don't, and you don't really want to be left behind. Moreover, you really, really don't want to lose your assets in this fusion because they could be worth a lot more in the future. And if you don't do it within a couple of months, you could actually lose all your assets. I know three months seems to be like a pretty fair uh, lead time, but we see people complaining about this crap years afterwards. And this time you're not going to have years to complain afterwards because if you don't do it within a couple of months, you will be sorry. So please, everyone that's invested in the BNB chain, you need to do this and you need to hurry up and do it now. Don't wait, do it now. The pro XRP attorney, John Deaton, might be moving and running for office where? Maybe to Massachusetts to take on Elizabeth Warren. Now, if he runs against Elizabeth Warren in the general, he's probably not going to win because Warren's district is very safe and it's entrenched and is very, very unlikely for a GOP candidate to actually run there. If you actually look at um, the last time Warren actually ran for Senate, she won by an astounding 24 points. And I don't think the crypto vote is going to be nearly strong enough to swing at 24 points. So I think you have a much better chance of actually primarying her. Now, it's going to be a very uphill battle no matter what Deaton does because she has, you know, her allies entrenched in there and she's very well known in the district. Deaton does have some popularity in the cryptoverse, but outside the cryptoverse, he's relatively unknown. I would support John Deaton. Obviously, I can't vote in this district because I don't live in Massachusetts, but you should vote for him if you're a crypto, um, if you're a crypto um, fanatic, regardless of what party he actually runs for. We do need to give Elizabeth Warren uh, um, a warning, but the best chance would be to primary her, but I'm not really sure if he even has time to do that. 
because the primaries are coming up very soon. I'm not exactly sure which date Massachusetts primary is, but he would need to move to the district and somehow establish citizenship. And you might not be able to do it because sometimes it, in some states it does take like half a year to do that. I'm not exactly sure about Massachusetts laws, but Ripple CEO definitely supports him. So we do need someone to challenge Elizabeth Warren. And even if you don't win, you need to be pretty close to give her a wake-up call to tell her that being anti-crypto is not a viable political strategy for the future. Now, Elizabeth Warren is like 70-something years old, so maybe she'll retire, but we know that these senators tend to stay there forever because they become super entrenched and they're very, very hard to actually remove. Obviously, John Deaton would be very much pro-crypto, and uh, but the best benefit is actually just getting Elizabeth Warren out of Congress because she is one of the primary antagonists, along with Brad Sherman, uh, for the cryptocurrency market. And if we can get rid of them, the better. The sooner we get rid of them, the better in Congress. Vote them out. And, but I do think that um, the Democratic primary uh, would actually be better uh, a better chance um, for people to challenge her. And I'm not even sure if anyone actually challenged her in the Democratic primary. I don't think she actually has a Republican challenger this time because the Republicans know that this district is pretty much lost um, because they just don't have a viable challenger. I think Deaton would probably do better than this guy just because of the crypto vote. And obviously, if you have an R next to your name, there'll be a certain portion of the population that actually votes for you. But in a district where it's plus 24 Democrat, don't think the crypto vote will actually swing it. But in the primary, I'm not really sure about Deaton's own political views outside of crypto, but he might be able to ouster in the primary if he gets enough support. And if you're thinking that Democrats don't invest in crypto, that's not true. There's actually a higher percentage of Democrats that invest in crypto than Republicans. This particular survey, 13% of Democrats own crypto compared to just 10% of Republicans. Now, this one is actually fairly low. I've seen like other numbers as well, but even in the um, surveys where it's higher, it's generally like a slightly larger portion of Democrats than Republicans own crypto. So you do actually have a chance to unseat someone like Elizabeth Warren because she will pretty much uh, not attract the crypto pro-crypto crowd. And if you have a pro-crypto candidate, obviously, um, you're going to attract the pro-crypto people. So that's like, you know, maybe like 24, 25% of the Democratic Party in the bag. And then you just have to debate her on other issues. But Warren is actually fairly popular within her Democratic constituents, even though she hasn't really done much um, in her years in office and her record for passing bills is pretty awful. But she does actually need a challenger and hopefully someone can give her a scare. Despite um, cryptos performing fairly well the last couple of weeks, Solana meme coins have not. They've Some reports have done, uh, said they've dumped 80%. If you look at Bonk, it's definitely come down from 0 0.000031 to 118, a dip of 67%. Some of the smaller ones probably have done more. Miro, I know, has been doing pretty well, but it looks like the Solana meme coin hype has actually taken a seat. Now, the thing is, this might actually be a decent time to pick up some of these meme coins at lower prices because you know they can go for a repump and if you see any new meme coins come out and they're very low price they haven't they don't go up immediately it might be okay to pick up some of those as well um as soon as the solana ecosystem blows up again which i'm sure it probably will or if you like the cardano ecosystem that's fine too or the hbar ecosystem uh, i do think solana ecosystem is going to get another jolt from the gto thing so you might want to look at that if you if you're looking for a chance to pick up some sol meme coins for a cheap price that might be a good investment around now might be the best time to do it you know like um bitcoin has recovered altcoins are still in the process of recovering this etf is interesting i'm not really sure how this is going to work i don't think altcoins are actually going to dump because of the etf but I do believe that Bitcoin is going to go up because of the ETF and that should pull altcoins along with it. So right now we might be at a local bottom for altcoins, especially these meme coins. So look for like newer meme coins and maybe even some of these older meme coins that have dumped a massive amount in the last 30 days or so. And there could be more uh, like a lot of interest soon in these meme coins as soon as the market goes back up. So 
definitely something to actually think about. We know how volatile the meme coins can be, and they're just basically an outsized multiplier on the overall altcoin and overall Bitcoin market. They might not catch up immediately, but they eventually catch up. Obviously, you have to pick the right one because some of them never pump, but maybe some of the larger ones like Bonk, you know, uh, Snack, Myro, those that are actually well known, will actually pump when the excitement comes back. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.